Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to stage 6 of the 2019 Tour de Suisse with the 2010 database. Last stage was a sprint, was a, well, a win for the breakaway, which Tommy Vokler took his second stage. Today's stage is a mountain top finish with a little bit of underland route on the way. Let's have a look at the favourites for today's stage. Favourite, of course, is Al Pistarolo, Alberto Contador. Second is Andy Schleck. Cadell Evans, the winner of the 2011 Tour de France, which hasn't happened yet. Samuel Sanchez, Leffi Leffheimer. Robert Hessink, Frank Schleck and his brother. Damien Canugo, Vincenzo Nibali and John Christophe Perard. Let's have a look at the overall ranking so far. Sammy Sanchez still holds a 22 second lead over Evans and 29s over Leffheimer. No Centini still winning the mountain classification. Hessink the youth by 2 seconds and Vokler the points. My favourite for today's stage is of course Al Pistarolo, Alberto Contador. Let's get on with the stage. So as it loads we'll talk about the what happened in the, this stage in the real 2019 Tour de Suisse. So remembering back, this stage was a win for Antoine Tolhook of Yabo Visma. Antoine Tolhook was part of the breakaway and he stayed away in front. He won by 17 seconds to of course Egan Bernal, who then moved into the leader's jersey. Francos Bidard for AG2R came in in third place. In the Tour de Suisse, stage 6 which was a, another mountain stage, was won by Marcus Burkhardt in front of Oscar Freire and Greg Van Avramont. Let's see what happens today. So there's Sanchez in the, in the general overall, Vokler in the points, no Centini in the mountain, and Hessink in the youth. 130 riders staying starting today. No one did not finish yesterday. Looks like Montague's starting an attack early with Quinzato and Lemeville. <coughs> no one else really wants to follow. There's Radio Shack controlling at the front at the moment. A bit of an undulating route till we get to the final climb. Damio Caruso. Oh, nope, not Damio Caruso. Caruso of. Katusha Squad and Die Volta. Yuri Trofmov of B-Box Telecom. Start speeding up as it is a long stage and we'll focus more on the mountain. Lance Armstrong, seven time winner of the Tour de France, is trying to get in the breakaway as well with Kaiser, Monfort, and Valjovic. Break the Peloton does not seem that interesting to chase. It's a slight downhill with a have increases in speed a bit. Montague and the rest of the breakaway still in front, and there's another attack. Popovich and Kern are trying to get to the breakaway. Otherwise, oh, there's another trying people trying to attack. The Dutch national champion, Warren Halt, and Lloyd from the Katusha squad. Soler from Alejandro Vaverde's team, and Parol from Kofidis. The Estonian champion, Tarame from Kofidis. Nicholas Roach, son of Stephen Roach, currently riding for AG Tour, is trying to get in the breakaway. Steph Clement of Rubberbank is also there as well. So it's going to be quite a busy day with a lot of riders trying to get in the breakaway. Majority of them made it up to the front group, but there's 14. There's another attack by Nicholas Vogondi of the B Box Telecom squad. Will he make it up? So the front bunch is now 18 riders in total. No one really Im too important, although a few of them could possibly win the stage. Maybe Armstrong could bring back his career and get a win on the, at the Tour de Suisse. Clement has joined. There's only one rider out in no man's land, and there's Vogondi at the moment. He's got a, two minutes on the peloton and he's just crawling back at the breakaway. So there's 20 riders in the breakaway today, currently holding 2 minutes 40 over the peloton. Speed the race up till we get to this mountain classification point. 
Lomprey's driving the pace with Escudi and Pro Team Astana. The race we haven't seen, the leaders we haven't seen much of actually this race is Lomprey. They've done a lot of work on the front, but not a lot in terms of their leaders. Let's have a look at the ranking. Before we do that, there's actually just been a fall. Who has fallen? Velo, Boki Molomov of Rabobank, Mark Cavendish, the Manx Missile, the Belarusian Sprinter for FDJ, Tom Lisa, and Dan Martin of Garmin Transitions. Is anyone coming back to help them? No. I suppose since most of them are sprinters, they probably won't get much help. And no one is up there on GC. The best place rider is Dan Martin at 71st position. Speed it back up again. Go back to the riders. We said we're looking at Lompre, don't we? Where's the first Lompre rider? Damien Canugo at 15th position, a minute 30 down. So he's up there, but not up there with the first 13 who are also within a minute. Of oh, Sammy Sanchez. These six riders here are making their way back up to the peloton. Just got a small rise. I think they will catch up before we hit the major climb of the day. Going up to the front bunch, the mountains classification. First day without Vokla in the break. Nicholas Roach is moving up on the outside. Divolder attacks. Quinzato follows, followed by Lloyd. Divolder will take maximum three points here. In the mountain top, followed by... Ooh. Let's have a look who took that. It's pretty hard to tell, but it looks like Lloyd and Quinzato. A few riders are falling off the back of the peloton. There's a bunch of six. They're not catching up. Hondo's off the back, and Daniel Oss once again. On this downhill, I think they should catch up. Depends how far behind they are. That looks like, what's that, um, three minutes behind. So they probably, mm, they might catch up. But when they get to the big hill, they're totally going to be in a bad situation. Coming up to the sprint point is four kilometers to go. Or any of the breakaway sprint. Doesn't look like it yet. Two kilometers to go. 1.5. Quinzato is rolling through with Monfort. Surely someone's going to sprint for the points. Five remains to go. Nope, they're just going to roll through nice and gently. Monfort, Tromov, and then Soler taking the points. <coughs> These people with the back, they're looking pretty dead and they're not really catching up anywhere. Peloton's still looking strong. This time it is driven by Team Saxobank and Lompre. Lompre working really hard for their leader, Kungo. Breakaway is working quite nicely together. Their lead is now down to two minutes. I do not think the breakaway will be winning today's stage. As I said before, my, my money is on Alberto Contador of the Pro Team Astana squad. He's looking fit and healthy in the peloton today. Coming up to this next sprint point. Looks like it might be Quinziato and Monfort and Thromov. So, same three as last time, just different order. There's six minutes back to these people here. I do not, they will not be catching up before the hill. They're going to have a hard day, and if they're really unlucky, they will also lose a lot of time. Or, if, yeah, if they're even worse than unlucky, they might actually lose too much time. 14 kilometers to go. Pro Team Astana are now moving up. Venakorov and Alberto Contador as they try to reel back in this breakaway. Starts off the gentle hill and gets steeper at the top. And then at the very top, it is a gentle hill once more. Ten kilometers to go. Fabian Cancellara is there for the Schleck brothers. Liquid Gas has still got Nibali. They're moving him up to the front. Eight kilometers to go. They're just about to hit the start of the hill. There's Matty Brichel for... Saxo Bank and is attacking the breakaway. Devolder attacks with Lloyd and Caruso following. A lot of those riders look quite dead. And Alberto Contador is launching an attack. Alpistarolo, seven kilometers to go. Igor Anton is trying to follow. Fabian Cancellara, Kadal Evans, Vinokorov. Contador's been reeled back into the break, back into the peloton. Kim Kirkland attacks, followed by Bradley Wiggins. 
8th and 6th on GC. They've got a slight gap, and Wiggins is looking pretty dead. Kraken is also dead. The breakaway is still going reasonably strong with the attack by Soler. 96 runners back in the peloton. El Pistarolo attacks again. This time taking a gap of 20 seconds to the peloton. Now I got 6 seconds, and Canal Evans is on El Pistarolo's wheel. Didn't anyone else follow? Van Devald is trying to catch back up on Evans' wheel. Soler is still out in front. Contador has caught Kroken. There's 20 seconds back. Van de Valve is dying. Alejandro Valverde is now trying to come across. Nope, he's given up as well. Three kilometers to go. Looks like Contador is getting a bit blocked down there with the breakaway. So he's got 2.7. Where's Contador? Is Contador coming up? He is. He's in a group of 10 now. Lloyd's here. Evans, Kroken, and Contador. 45 seconds on the main peloton. With Alejandro Valverde. Soler has been caught. Here comes Contador. Contador is at the front of the race. There's two kilometers to go. <coughs> Contador is, looks like he's losing a bit of energy. He's looking a little bit dead at the front. Canal Evans is also there. The world champion jersey. Canal Evans is now setting the pace. Who's able to follow him? Is Lance Armstrong is caught up. Lance Armstrong. Here with the best of them, Contador has died. Canal Evans, 30 second lead on the rest of them. The world champion. John Christoph Parade's coming up. Contador, maybe he went too early. 200 meters to go. Canal Evans will win this stage of the Tour de Suisse. Behind him, Caesar, Montfort, a few of the breakaway rem remnants. Then we got Alberto Contador and John Christoph Parade, Alejandro Valverde, protected by Soler, Vincenzo Nibali, Tony Martin, No Centini, Kraken. We got a gap back to Wiggins. Samuel Sanchez is there. Will Canal Evans take enough time on Samuel Sanchez? Sanchez crosses the line a minute thirty down, but what will the bunch time be? Hesink and Vinokurov. Everyone seems to be finishing fairly close together. Wiggins finishes just outside the top 20. No, just inside the top 20. Who were the, who were the major losers today? You got Anton. Who's the last on the road? Daniel Oss once again. Hondo in front of him. Chi Chi. Velo. They asked 900 meters to go. He's going to finish probably 28 minutes down, 26 minutes down the leader. Let's have a look at the podiums for today's stage. Cadell Evans wins by 36 seconds over Maxim Monfort. 57 seconds back to Remy Peral and a minute 10 back to Alberto Contador, Al Pistarolo. Cadell Evans moves into the leader's jersey. BMC, the Swiss American team, winning the Tour de Suisse. With Samuel Sanchez now 58 seconds back and Alberto Contador 1 minute 31. Mountains classification, no Centini still winning that, still 3 points over Tommy Vockler. Cadell Evans up to 4th on 15. Tommy Vockler still winning the points classification, leading Samuel Sanchez by 24 points. And Cal Evans is up there now. He is quite way behind, though. Young rider Hessink is still leading Schlick, this time by 25 seconds, and Martin by 4 minutes. Team classification, Radio Shack has taken over from Pro Team Astana, the team of Lance Armstrong. Double victory for Evans. Says that, but Evans has not won another stage. Sandy Kayser comes in second, Jean Christophe Pollard leading across Contador and Valverde Nibli. Lance Armstrong finished with the main GC favourites. Hessink losing 2 minutes and 3 seconds. Lefheimer 2 minutes 26. Andy Schleck and Frank Schleck both losing 2 minutes 26 also. On the GC. 
top 10 are now separated by 2 minutes 40, the top 2 by a minute, and the top 6 by a minute 40. There's the points classification with, to with Thomas Volk and Tommy Volkler. Mountain with Ronaldo No Centini. Youth with Robert Hessink. And the team classification we're now with Team Radio Shack. So that's the end of stage 6 of the Tour de Suisse. Tune in soon for stage 7.